how you doing, Mr. DJ Back? Let me just play with the focus on this uh, on this video screen. Well, how you doing? It's Mr. DJ Back on the 80s and 90s YouTube channel. And uh, this fantasy playlist, I'm going to count down. Oh, my goodness. We're going all the way back to 1985, the week of, of uh, 4, April 28, 1985, 30 years ago. I mean, it just gives me pause to think about that. And I've got some vivid memories of this era. Coming in at number 40, got uh, two debuts. Two debuts. No, take that back. Three debuts on this fancy playlist. At number 40, female artist with a hell of a contralto, almost an operatic proportions. Awesome singer. Alison Moyette from England with Invisible, her biggest American hit. A Forgotten 45 from 1985. I think that probably most people who grew up in the 80s, I'd say about 60 or 70 percent of them don't even remember this record. Don't even have a clue who Alison Moyette is from England. Um, she was part of a group called Yasu. Yasu's biggest hit in America was Situation. That was in 1982-83. She was in, it was a duo between, uh, it was a uh, Alison Moyette and Vince Clark of Depeche Mode. And they broke up in 1983, and Alison Moyette went solo in 1984. She, the, the work pressure just got to them. And Alison Moyette decided to go solo for good reasons. I mean, this woman's singing abilities up there, Whitney Houston, Kelly Clarkson. I mean, it's, yeah. A little wonder why she was ambitious to go, go for the solo singing. Her first album was called ALF. It was released in 1984. It was produced by Steve Jolly, Steve Jolly and Tony Swan, hot British producers back in the early to mid-80s. Some of their credits, they produced the album True by Spandau Ballet. They also recorded Cruel Summer by Banana Rama, their American breakthrough hit back in the summer of 1984. Alison Moyette and the uh, production team of Jolly and Swan, they wrote all the songs on this album except for Invisible. And this just blows me away who wrote Invisible. In a way, I can't believe it, but yet I do believe it because it's such a soulful record to begin with. Lamont Dozier. You're saying, who the hell is Lamont Dozier? What's special about Lamont Dozier? Lamont Dozier, Holland Dozier Holland of Motown, the songwriting backbone of Motown back in 64, 65, 66. Stop in the name of love, come see about me, baby love, where did our love go? Sugar pie, honey bunch, I can't help myself. Those great Motown classics back in the mid 60s. A lot of them written by Holland Dozier Holland. That includes Lamont Dozier. He also pursued somewhat of a prolific solo career in the in the 70s. And he wrote this record, Invisible, by Alison Moyet. Alison Moyet really, was really big in England. She had five top ten hits in Britain. She sold about 2.3 million albums in the UK. And here she is, debuting at number 40. Alison Moyette, Invisible, Fantasy Playlist of April 28, 1985.